Martin Lewis is here to take your calls on any of your Murray worries. Think money worries, even. Thank goodness Both for you. Murray or money, either. <laughs> uh, we've got Rose on the line. Good morning, Rose. Hi, yeah. So Hiya. you've been living off high interest credit cards, have you? Yeah, what it is is I've been on maternity leave um, and I've just been trying to get, like, sort of by. Um, I've been sort of borrowing more on my, um, my bank, uh, oh, what do you call it? Overdraft. Right, yeah. Um, okay. And basically what it is is I've went to the bank and sort of tried to get a loan to pay off these credit cards, but unfortunately I can't get one at the minute. Um, and I'm just looking to kind of find a way out because it could impact on my job. Yeah, and the interest is building up, I imagine. So are, yeah, you, in a mm. are you in a position where you're struggling to just make the minimum repayments? I'm making the minimum repayments, but I've got, like, nothing extra at the end of the month, and the minimum payments aren't really covering the big payments. Well, look, let's be honest, I wouldn't have advised you to get into this situation in the first place using credit cards as a supplement of your income when you're on maternity leave. It, it, it's one of the danger signals, so we need to work out what we can do at this point. Have you tried to get a cheaper balance transfer credit card? I wouldn't have gone for a loan, I would have gone for a balance transfer first. To be honest, I just kind of sort of thought, right, Christmas is coming, I need to get by sort of thing, so I just went for sort of the easy options. But have, have you tried to get a new balance transfer credit card? No. OK, this is what I'd suggest you do in the first instance. You go on to an eligibility calculator which will tell you if any of the top deals were are likely to accept you. I mean, you've got 43 months, 0%. You can shift debt to with an MBA card for about a 3% fee. You've got 26 months, no fee with Halifax as a poor credit score as card, 18 months uh, with Barclay card you pay a fee for. So if you can shift any of the debts to 0% do, and go onto an eligibility calculator. Even if you do that, shift as much as you can. And I would suggest I did a full my show on this last Monday night was half an hour on this. So go and watch that on the ITV player and it'll take you through it step by step. If you've then gone through everything and you can't get cheaper debt, the next thing and the most important thing you do right now is you write every one of these debts down in order of the interest rate. From the highest first, it might well be your overdraft. And you put every spare penny you've got to the highest interest rate debt and just the minimums on everything else, because that's the most expensive one. And if you're going to get into the position where you can't repay these, you need to go and get debt counselling. But I need to be really plain with you. Debt spirals. What you're describing is a classic debt spiral. You didn't have enough money, so you borrowed more money. Now, each month, more of your money is going towards repaying the debt, so you've got less money to shell out and other things. It's, it will only get worse unless you deal with it. So you also need to sit down. I know you're on maternity leave. I'm sure you've got a young one who's taking all your time and all your concentration. I do understand. But take a bit of time to sit down and work through do you need to be spending the money on the things you're doing? Can you absolutely cut back to the bare bones, making sure that you and your little one have the right food, are warm, have got a roof over your heads, and pretty much everything else, I think you need to really rein back in as much as you possibly can. Sorry yeah, to say I've to you. tried doing, like, I've went through, like, sort of all my bills. Um, I've, like, cut back, say, like, telly and things like that. Like, we've cancelled that. Good. Um, and I have, like, sort of worked out which one's, like, most expensive. Um, my partner and I have decided, like, any extra money we do have, we will pay off. Mm. Um, it's just, is, like, is your partner I'm... working, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Because three credit card companies, and I hope I get the right ones, it, it is in my show, Barclay Card, MBA, and Capital One, allow mm -hmm. you to balance transfer debt to a partner. So if he has, or he, I'm presuming it's a he, not a she, or you, yeah. yeah. So if he has um, a decent credit score, he may be able to get credit cards and balance transfer your debts onto his. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have to have a trusted relationship, it'll then be his debt, but that may be a way of cutting your interest rates too, so that's worth looking at as well. He should probably do one of these at the same time. Thank you, Rose. Good, Good luck, luck. I hope that, that helps a little yeah. bit.